So, An Siung will play the winner one of these two, Kim Gaon versus Ponpawi Chochuwang of Thailand, the sixth seed. Delighted to say we have got uh, the former Denmark national coach with us here, Steen Pedersen, as we look at the table, the uh, ladder, excuse me. What a, what a great match that was. Well, An Siung was superb, wasn't she? Yeah, the two players who um, always seem to play uh, great matches. Really good uh, matchup, but um, yeah, so you just got to come up with something. <laughs> a little bit like yesterday when we were talking about Busanan and Sindhu and the, and the head-to-head there. Yeah. It's kind of flipped the other way, isn't it? Yeah, it has. So Kim Gaon versus Ponpawi Chochuwang. What do you make of this one then, Steve? Well, so far it seems like we're going to have an all-Korean final <laughs> here in uh, Korea Open because um, I think Kim Gaon has played uh, magnificently mm. throughout this tournament here. But uh, Cho Cho Wong beat Ratchan Ginsanon yep. yesterday. Um, again, she beat her uh, once last year. Um, so it seems that uh, she's um, gotten over her injury and, um, and her COVID um, um, testing positive, so she couldn't play in the European tournaments. Cho Cho Wong, maybe um, she's um, just a little bit fresher than um, many other players, but um, oh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, out. certainly was one of the headlines, wasn't it? Uh, beating Ratchanok Intanon. A few seeds have fallen in this tournament as the two players uh, make their way on. Kim Gowen leading the way. Who's a Sudirman Cup bronze medalist from last year in Vanta. Also in the Uber Cup in 2020, another bronze medal there. Silver in the Asia Team Championships in 2020. And the silver in the 2017 Asia Mixed Team Championships. More on them in a while, but uh, there is the matchup between the two of them. Red color uh, she has color won features. two twice uh, out of Red the two color. matches, both Red of them a you. long time ago in the Asia Junior Black Championships. Serve. Both matches, one in 2014 in the Badminton Asia Youth Under-19s. Kim Gowan winning in three, and then in the Asia Junior Championships in 2019, uh, 2016, excuse me, with Kim Gowan again winning that in three. A lot has happened since then. Pompawi, for her part, Girls singles silver medalist of the 2015 Asian and 2016 World Junior Championships. And also part of the tie winning teams of the 2017 and 2019 Southeast Asian Games. Won her first World Tour title in 2020 Spain Masters by beating Carolina Marin in the final. Kim Gowen, 24 years of age, 172 centimeters tall, 20th in the world. She's from Ulsan, and her highest ranking has been 15th which was in March of 2020. So her path to the semi-finals, she beat Jasmine Hui of Singapore very, very comfortably, 21-7, 21-8. Two slightly tougher matches, Chen Yufei, I think that is a superb result, isn't it, Steen? Being the number one seed, 21-17, uh, 21-19, and then Go Jin Wei, she beat 21-15, 21-18. But that was probably the headline of this tournament, wasn't it? it? It was. It was the Olympic champion who uh, crashed out to um, um, the second rank Korean. So, wonderful result for Kim Gaon. Paul Pawi, 24 years of age, 170 centimeters tall, playing her best badminton at the moment, 10th in the world, her highest ever ranking from Ryong in Thailand. And uh, she's also a headline stealer. Uh, first of all, with uh, straightforward wins over Czech Republic's Teresa Spavigova and Malvika Bansod, and then beating her compatriot, the four-seeded Ratchanok Intanon, on court two yesterday. So they both have had their share of upsets in this tournament. Ready to play. Pompawi really grabbed the attention when she got to the finals of the all England Open last year, losing to Nozomi Okuhara. There's the two officials, Jakob Sinberg of Denmark, service judge. And uh, he's joined by Latif Jahari of Indonesia, the umpire.
Pompawi. 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 Has won a few tournaments along the way, apart from that. Spain Masters, also the Sydney International, the India International, and the Vietnam International. That was way back in the International Series. Kim Gaon. On the Hyderabad Open and the China Masters in 2018 and 19, respectively. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Kim Ga Eun, Korea. <laughs> and on my left, Born Pali Choi Chu Wong, Thailand. Born Pali Choi Chu Wong to serve, level, play. Nice start there from Kim down the line. Service over. One. Played 194 love. matches, 125, lost 69. And Paul Pauvi's played Service 337, over. so a lot more matches. One all. And won 215 of them, losing 122. This is their first tournament for both of them this year. So what you're saying is basically that Pompey has lost 122 tournaments, <laughs> except from a loss in uh, team matches. <laughs> Early challenge. Ah. It's difficult for us to see. Yeah. Just out of our view there. It is out. Challenge and successful. Yeah. One challenge remain. Well, Kim will be Two, inspired by one. her compatriot earlier, Ansa Young's performance. Against uh, Pompawi. I'm a little bit concerned about the uh, strapping on the right calf of um, Kim Ga Eun. Mm. Hopefully, uh, just a precaution, but if she's not um, close to her best uh, because of um, some slight injury, then um, it could become difficult for her. Ah! Yeah, it is quite heavily strapped up, isn't it? Right, right leg. Three, two. It's a fair bit going on there. Nicely done by Kim. Especially the placement. So close to the line. It's not the hardest of smash. Not with the biggest deception either, but really well placed. Hey! Boy, there's a challenge. I don't think the linesman could Kim see it for Dennis the foot of Cho Cho Wong. It might still have made the right call, um, but I just think it's um, it's close. Look, she's standing in the way. First inspection does look out, doesn't it? We'll get confirmation of that now. On the official review. Yeah. There we go. Challenge and successful. Two one successful no challenges. challenges remain. Service over. Four three. Play.
two unsuccessful challenges pretty early on, isn't it? Service over. Four all. It's tumbling over the net. That's a little hand up. Well, she got down there, but not quite enough on it, Kim. Good technical skills from uh, Cho Cho Wong, where I feel that she's um, a little bit um, ahead of um, her opponent. Normally, I would think that Kim Go Eun is uh, perhaps a little bit ahead in terms of uh, physicality. But uh, that's an area where Cho Cho Wong has improved a lot. Uh, in my opinion, over the last uh, two, three years, and uh, it's always difficult to talk about two, three years because there's been this COVID pandemic, yeah. so it might even be the last three, four years. That was the longest rally we've had so far. from the crowd there. Four. The coach there just trying to <laughs> cycle up a little bit. Yeah, I think it's Jang Yong Sung who's behind the uh, face mask there. Staying on this court after helping An Se Young to reach the final. Good placement again. Very nicely done. The smash. Seven five, six. Second time that's happened. Yeah. Another lucky oh. net cord. Maybe it's her own net that she's brought with her today here. <laughs> She'll take all of that if she can. Uh, trajectory a little bit too flat from uh, Cho Cho Wong and immediately punished. Very alert. Rally Six. in which uh, Kim comes out on top. Very different level of intensity to what we saw in the in the previous game. Yeah, the previous the pace, match. pace yeah. is a little bit lower. Yeah. smashes from uh, Kim Goon and uh, that's in my opinion very often more important in women's singles well even in men's singles than the actual uh, power the question is whether they're within reach or out of reach and if it's out of reach so you have to move first and it's more difficult to control the uh, reply Very nicely done. Yeah. For Pauli Cho Chu Wong's challenges. No, Cho Chu Wong ah. was convinced that was in. Yeah, my, that was also my initial reaction that it was in. Let's see. Yeah, I think it is. Looks uh, very clearly in that one, but uh, we 
we will see shortly. There you go. That's a terrible line call. Correction in. Over. Tell us what you think of that, really, Steve. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, um, was dropping down. Yeah, it was pretty obvious, wasn't not it? Not a whole lot of pace. There's line calls that are much, much more difficult. Mm. That is really, really hard where I wouldn't want to sit on the chair when um, the shuttle slides across uh, the back line or Play. cross over the side lines where it's really, really hard. You, to and judge. you mentioned the, the, the one earlier, wasn't it, when, when Pompawi was in the way? Yeah. Even the crowd, which is obviously pro-Korean here, it's just not quite as vocal as they were in the last match. There, yeah, that placement. Yeah. Something you brought up repeatedly she's done well today. Keep going. Ten, seven. Playing with good length. Service over. Eight, ten. Well, was a little chat with herself, Kim Goen, but she's been playing well. Pompa, we two behind. Oh, it's difficult. Yeah, That's well done. Easy one to put away. Kim Goen goes back. into the interval. Eleven, Eleven eight, eight up. Interval. ディフェンスメシンドは生ボケがね。はい。オンのゴ、シュゴ、オンのゴ、シュゴ、ワンベワンがたくさんピンまで走ってるから。ここまで。ここまで。ここまで。ここまで。ここまで。ここまで。ここ
It is in. Thirteen ten. Beautiful placed. Yeah, the placement has been excellent today from Kim Gowen. I actually think that Kim Gowen played the um, Korea Badminton League whilst the uh, European uh, swing was going on here in March and uh, early April. The Korean Badminton League 11, was staged. 13. And I suppose she played um, those matches. Wait, that's well played. Well, we talked about good placement. What about that from Pompawi? 12, 13. Wipe the card, please. <laughs> Kim Gowen <laughs> didn't look too impressed with that, did she? Did she look at the umpire? <laughs> Can you Come help on. me, please? <laughs> I think that was very... That was clearly in, though. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, so, after the interval, a little bit of momentum with... Um, Cho Cho Wong, in my opinion, and she also probably had the... Um, um, the easiest to talk in terms of uh, making adjustments because she was trailing. Um, but the, the good news for Cho Chung Wong is that, in my opinion, she hasn't played uh, up to her very best no. in the uh, beginning of the match, but she's only trailing by one, so, um, so all chances are still um, open. Trying to force the That's winner there, Cho Chu Wong. 14, 12. There's a bit more like it from the crowd. Trying to get behind their player, Kim Gowen. She played a long match yesterday, Cho Chu Wong. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's well played. Follow up. Brilliantly done. Fantastic play by uh, Cho Cho Wong here. Seven, seven, seven. 13, 14. Yeah, just played just over an hour yesterday against Rachanok. For Kim Go in that match against uh, Chen Yu Fei. 48 minutes, beat her in straight games, that one. That'll give us so much confidence. Again, drew her opponent in. And then played another wonderfully placed shot. Into that far corner. She's had a lot of good winners today, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. That's a dry hit, that one. Just relieving some of that pressure then, Kim go in because Cho Chi Wong was steaming back into this game. After the interval, three points now, that lead. Hi. Well off there. 17, 13. Expression on Kim Gowen's face. Yeah, that's, that was an easy, um, that was an easy error. That one, and uh, that was not what she needed. Um, she had swung the momentum back on her side and uh, came to a little bit of a halt there. It was also long, but uh, I thought the linesman. I, I think he called it good.
Thrown again from the crowd because 17. the pressure's back on. Chochi Wong, two behind now. Good shot. Very nicely seal. done. Very nicely done from King Gaon. And she paid the price, uh, Cho Cho Wong, for not being able to put it away at the net earlier in the rally when she had the chance. I think it was that cross drop there. Perhaps the chance looked a little bit bigger from um, our position than it uh, was on um, court. But anyway, um, the uh, initiative sort of um, disappeared with the uh, cross net shot she played. They really hurt those um, straight flat drives to the forehand of um, Pompavi Chuchuwong. She's just trying to catch up here, yeah, three points between them. Using the physicality and uh, putting Cho Cho Wong under pressure. Game point 16. Four game points now for Kim Gaun to take this first game. Think there again, Kim Gaon. Oh, it's a nice one game. to win this first game. Kim Gaon, who's first been game, playing so accurately, and she Rank wins one, the first 17. game 21 17.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Players back on court. Second game. Level play. So that one lap. Nice start here for Pompawi in Love. game two. Yeah, she lost the first game against uh, Ratchinog as well. And um, but just um, on the top of my head, uh, think back then, I feel that she's. Um, Often been good at um, getting back into matches. I recall sort of her breakthrough when she defeated Carolina Marin on Marin's home soil in uh, Spain. Lost the first game, and everybody thought this is going to be a normal Marin victory, but Chuchu um, Wong came back. It was great reflexes there from Kim Gowan, but not quite enough. And easy to put away for Chochu Wong. Three, one. Yeah, I needed a miracle uh, mm. a net cord or something because um, she was never going to get up to the next one. <laughs> Thank you. Lay there for a little while. But um, extra points for effort. There's that strapping we're talking about, Steen. Yeah. Seems to be okay. Yeah. Luckily. But uh, if I were Cho Chu Wong, I would, <laughs> um, I would try and exploit it a little bit yeah. to make her work the diagonal from the uh, long forehand corner to the short backhand and see um, how that works out. That's going... No, that's a wrong call as well. It's going Four. wide of wide. the um, sideline, and that's called wide, but called in on the back line I thought okay, that so looked that. doubtful but um, of course not so easy for us to see here the line judges in obviously better position three point lead here Ponpawi has 4-1 in game two Just suddenly start to look a little sluggish, hasn't she? Five, one. Kim going? Yes. Yeah. She is under pressure there and doesn't get the um, right Thank length you. on. So it's it's a battle in in the uh, trajectory, so to speak, whether you can uh, just get it past your opponent, uh, but still with uh, a lot of pace in the um, shuttle, 
or she'll be able to intercept. If she intercepts, then you might be in trouble. Porn Pawi Chochuong challenges calls in. I, th I thought that looked more like it was in than um, the other one. <laughs> now we get a verdict from Hawkeye. Well, that looked pretty in, didn't it? But, uh, let's see now. Oh. No. Oh. And I'm even more Correction. convinced than the other one ah. that actually didn't need a call, but that was also a wrong call. Six, one. Play. Well, she stormed into a very good start here. Pompa with Cho Chu Wong. Well placed. Seven one. Ponpawi. Nice lead of six points here for Ponpawi. She's Thank come you. out all guns blazing in this second game. Seven one in front here, Ponpawi. Cho Chu Wang. Finally pulls one back. Seven, seven, two, seven. more aggression coming from Paul Pabu in the second game. Yeah, uh, if, if this is sort of a variation and not the game plan, then I like it. If it's the game plan, I don't think it's the right way for for Paul Pabu to play. Mm. She's she's technically very skillful, and um, it should be able to uh, see her through. But again, we saw this lack of quality in the follow-ups on the front court costing. She was in position and uh, mm. Four, seven. good rally here by Kim Gong. I think the um, the key for Cho Chung Wong lies in the long forehand corner of uh, Kim Gong, where if she can put pressure on that corner, she can um, pretty much control the rallies. She can play the backhand corner, but only with uh, pressure. Because otherwise, uh, like we saw there, otherwise Kim Gohan will come in and um, take initiative. Well played. So it's over. Eight, four. Four points ahead here, Pon Pawi. Yeah, so we see this smash here, it, was, it wasn't powerful or anything. It wasn't really well placed either, but it was a smash that had no chance of sort of losing the point, yeah. so Cho Chu Wong was in perfect balance to play on. Landed well in. Yeah, just misjudging that one. Five, eight. Right. Ooh, oh, she's taking it. She took it, didn't she? It's going wide. An element of luck there for Kim Gaoon earlier Six, in the piece. That looked to eight. go wide. But uh, Pompawi played it, and it's now just two points between them. Pompawi, 8 6 up here. Yeah. That's well worked by Kim to um, get back into. This second game, she was in danger of um, really uh, throwing it away. Yes. Well, that's the better, much better follow-up. Nine, six. She was seven, one up, wasn't she? Um, Again, not not a powerful smash, but 
in full balance and uh, ready to uh, follow up. And then the quality much, much better. Good coverage by uh, Kim Gohn. And that's got nine. the crowd excited now. 20 shots at rally. Getting over to her frustration. So, so that yeah. Keep going. Ten, seven. She was under pressure for a lot of um, that rally, Cho Cho Wong, but um, managed to withstand it. And Kim, of course, frustrated that um, she missed the last one. Another opportunity. 11 7. Not taken. Bit of frustration here, but Pompawi Chochuwong goes into interval. 11 7 up. Thirteen, seven. It's a good start to this uh, second half of the second game for Cho Chu Wong. Yeah, and, and I didn't like the body language of uh, Kim Ga Un going to the um, interval uh, with uh, sort of like uh, juggling her racket and um, seeming like she was a little bit um, disheartened. Eight. Thirteen. Oh, yes. 
Ball. Fantastic oh. shot. Oh, it's called a fold on uh, Cho Cho Wong. Let's explain that one in more detail Nine. for us, uh, Steen, as to you're why that point actually got awarded to Kim. You're not allowed to touch uh, or to first make impact with the shuttle on the opponent's side of the court. It's interesting if you get this from the net camera. We really want the chance to uh, see if we agree with um, umpire Johari, who's got to make the decision in a split second. Yeah, so it's not one. a it's not a t an easy job. Mm. Oi, what a fantastic shot. Reverse slice, you can see Cho Cho Wong was going in the wrong direction. I was moving a little bit in my chair up here as well. Oi, oi, oi. Fantastic rally. Great rally, that one. Cho Cho Wong comes out on top. She's still on the ground here. 14, and I just wonder if she's okay. Nine. Kim Ga Un. Uh, here he comes. Thank oh, you. she twists her. Yeah, it looks like she lost her right ankle. Yeah. Look at that. Oof. Well, that looked awkward, didn't it? Yeah. She's okay. A lot of these players, they play with um, strappings on their ankle underneath their socks because um, badminton is such a tough sport for the ankles. And once you've twisted it and sort of rehabbed and uh, practiced and make strength practice and gotten back um, you sometimes feel that now I can play without strapping but that just doesn't work there's too much uh, strain on it in, yeah. um, in the singles 15, disciplines not. well it's a nice six point lead that uh, Bobby Cho Cho Wong has good shot 16-9. Seven points clear now. Cho Chu Wong. It's going wide. She's lost her way again, hasn't she, Kim Goen? She's totally lost her way Nine. and... and um, it doesn't look good for her because if uh, Cho Cho Wong gets more confidence on her um, um, on her technical shots, um, the uh, <laughs> adventurousness, then um, it could become difficult. Even though she can play shots shots like this, um, Kim Goon. Well, that's what we saw a lot of in the first game, didn't we? From Kim Goon. Yeah. Plenty of winners like that. Not enough of that in the second. Two useful points for Kim Gowan. She needs a lot more than that. I think a little bit softer shot with some better marking than that could almost have been an outright winner. And Three in a row. Yeah, and it's a strong comeback by uh, Kim Gaon, but I also I, I don't understand um, Cho Cho Wong uh, playing so much to the backhand side of Kim Gaon. She's been extremely strong there. Mm. She's played those cross smashes really, really close to the line. She's played reverse slice drops and has followed up well, so... Um, It's amazing how it can just change. The momentum can change within one rally. Right. Both are challenging, but it's Kim called in. Challenges. Both so you, got a, you got a little shake of your head in the middle of that rally. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. Why was that? Yeah, because I, mean, I feel again that... Uh, oh, that looked in. That looked in, didn't it? Yeah. Um, I feel that uh, Cho Cho Wong has suddenly lost the plot again ah. and trying to play hard uh, shots. Oh, 
that is so tight. The tightest of margins. Ten yeah. and successful. That's a sharp linesman we've got One. there on okay. the, the long line. Service over. 18. Well, that 12. is the tightest one we've seen so far. And probably also now enough to get uh, Chuchuang mm. over the line here in the uh, second game, I would But you, you, felt, you felt there's this little period now where she's yeah, suddenly... She, she's dropped out yeah. and, and for no obvious reason. I, I'm not sure there is this this totally clear plan on um, on what to do. Nineteen. Yeah, she's almost there, and leveling this Chochu Wong. Yeah. I feel that whenever Chochu Wong is playing sort of technical badminton without applying too much power, getting off balance, then she's uh, in charge of the rallies. When she tries to apply power or get a little bit off balance, then this happens. That was well played, well constructed by uh, Kim Goon. Thirteen. 19. Two good points for her. Still a long 14, way to go. 19. Still five behind. is in, 20. so she's got game points game here. Point 14. That's a big, big misjudgment there. It's like five centimeters. Good shot. Game. Excellent reverse slice. Second game won by Port Pawi. So nicely done by Port Pawi, who levels matters here. Game all. Taking the second game, 21-14. We're going into a third shortly. Final game. So game Love three net between Pompoi, Cho Chu Wong and Kim Gaun. Play. Oh. 
Now it's one apiece, Steen. Where do you see one this going? Because you think you, you feel the momentum with Cho Chu Wong if she please plays her game? Yeah, uh, I would definitely say so. Um, and also, it doesn't seem like Kim Gon is is too confident. She had two um, shots from the backhand here. None of them were really good. The smash wasn't um, of the same quality as earlier on, but here a smash from One. from Cho Chu Wong wide. Uh, the thing is, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if, if um, I'm uncertain whether she's aware of what's working for her. It's working well for Cho uh, Cho Wong when she's letting her racket uh, speak. And for Kim Ga Un, it works applying um, power, trying to get it into a dogfight. Would be one of the. Service um, over. Advices I would give one. her if I um, had the chance. Already 50 minutes on this one. Remember, she had a hour-long match yesterday as well. Pon Pawi. is being chased around and she's sort of uh, accepting being chased Three. around by uh, Cho Chu Wong. I don't think that's um, the right way to go for her. I think she Thank needs you. to um, use her physical strength in terms of the shot making. Powerful smashes, fast paced, flat game. Those flat drives towards the uh, long corners of Cho Chu Wong and and both forehand and backhand, we haven't seen them a lot. And they worked so well for her in the first game. Four, one. Four, one already now, Cho Chu Wong. Choi Chuang out. Early challenges in all three games so far. Yeah, that's long. Definitely long. There you go. Challenge and successful. One challenge remaining. Service over. That falls under the category Two. emotional challenges. <laughs> Understandable at times. Oh, great reactions there from Torture One, but Service Kim will be annoyed, I think, with herself. Five. Yeah. Two. Both players having trouble put it away at the net. So that's the best way to do it. Yeah. So, so that, and that goes three, Kim's way this five. time. Just tumbles over. She will most gladly take that one. Superb. 
And Time may see awareness to uh, keep her cool and play that little deception there. Just guiding it over the net. Thank you. Well, the crowd now trying to do their part for Kim Gaun. It's gone long. Problems mounting here for Kim. So it's over. Four, six. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Good deception again. Sets over. Seven, four. That's something that you notice as a player, saying, oh, it works for me playing deceptions to this corner here. Mm. Bites on my opponent. Long, this one. Eight, four. And now a four point lead for Cho Chu Wong. Just a slightly more positive body language at the moment from Cho Chu Wong than Kim. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, it's a strange. I mean, She's definitely still in it, Kim. Yeah. And it's second in a row, like that. And it's every Nine, time she makes four. a bad shot or a mistake yeah. um, that it's sort of enhanced by her body language. Yeah. So sometimes you um, you can dig a hole for yourself. Uh, I can understand it now that she's trailing here in the third game, but it was already at, um, was it 7-10 in the second, yes. where she was in a perfectly good position. It's, it's never going to be... Uh, a really, really easy match against um, Pompeii in the semi-final of the Super 500. That's that's going to be tough. But then afterwards, lost away completely after the interval. Yeah. That's bad. And I just wonder, Steen, and, and of course you can't put the onus on them, but a crowd can often help in these kind of conditions, right? In these kind of situations. Yeah. That's that's what we um, we see um, in many places where there's a supportive home crowd um, they sort of help lift their players and mm. they know they've got to give everything because um, that's what the audience demands good shot that's more like it and the crowd responds Six, nine. this is what we saw a lot of earlier in the match but that's exactly what it's about it's about giving the audience something to cheer about yeah. we saw it with Anse Young celebrating her good shots yeah, here we see playing Kim up Gaon to them yeah sort of um Dissing herself on the uh, not so good shots. Yeah. So you got to turn it around. Oh, unlucky. Well played. That's better. Yeah. Better. A few good points for her here. Seven, nine. It's amazing how this momentum keeps shifting, doesn't it? Yeah. And there you go. The crowd responds yeah. in kind. Good clear. Excellent play. And she's got to put that much pressure on her shots, uh, Kim Goon. No. Because it hurts Cho Cho Wong when she does it. Mm. Four points in a row. Much, much better. And suddenly back. Yeah.
all level. Well, we were just talking about the body language and perhaps what was going through her mind, but it's it's all changed so, so quickly. Yeah, and perhaps we also have to sort of um, reconsider when she's uh, looking uh, frustrated after mistakes. Keep going. It doesn't really matter as long as she's in the right state for the next rally. Mm. That's basically why we uh, sometimes criticize it, because we think it might, must be difficult to get back into the right mindset. She's done it. Oh, she's again just wincing. But she's okay. Listen, this is much better than a two, 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 three minutes ago when she was Thank five you. points behind. Yeah. Put us off in good position. We have hit the hour mark here, Steve. Yeah, it's a very unpredictable match. It's um, going back and forth and really battling it out, these two players. Tell you what, you don't want to be putting an hour plus in this match and then having to face Anso Young tomorrow. Well, it's better than not facing them. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. In the ball, well, Cho Chu Wong goes into the break. 11 9 up here. And who knows what will happen? It's been that kind of match so far. Chuang, who's now on the side where all the uh, parts of this match have been won. Kim Goon won the first game, Cho Chuang the second, and Kim. Oh, I beg your pardon, that's not correct because Cho Chuang is leading, but um, she played so well here in the second game. situations she set it all up for herself but um, we did it a little bit all of a sudden Cho Chu Wong has a nice four-point cushion there for the taking, wasn't it? Bit of a let off there for Kim. If they do a comparison in terms of um, rallies won, rallies lost, when Cho Chu Wong has applied power in one of her attacking shots, then it's going to be really revealing, I suspect. As in, you're, you're thinking when she's trying to apply the power, it's not working for her. It's not working. 
And you're, that's why you were saying she just has to play her natural game. Yeah, play the technical game. She, she can uh, smash and she can attack once in a while, but, but not to win the rally, more to uh, sort of keep uh, Kim going honest and uh, make her fear the uh, powerful attack. But the powerful attack hasn't worked for Cho Chung Wong um, in most cases. Yeah, that's, a, that's a costly error. 14, 11. One left, really one left by uh, Cho Cho Wong. Reclaims that four point lead now, Cho Cho Wong. I like lose away again. Yeah, I like the shot. Um, it wasn't really close to getting over, but there's there's pace in it. Spark a little comeback here. She's four, four behind Kim Gowen. Surprises us because 13, she seems to have lost away, then she comes back and she sustain it. Three behind, important juncture now in this match. Right off that, the power of it, and that you were talking about the more the subtleties of Paul Pawi. Yeah, in the beginning she actually uh, applied a lot of power, but then it got the rally got neutralized, and then the second part of the rally she played with um, a lot of uh, technical uh, Thank you. quality. That's a great shot there. You can't fault. Uh, him going for effort either. She's given everything. Kim, 22 shots at rally. 
14, 17. Thought you won't be really annoyed at this up and not yeah, finishing it that, off. That's um, something to work on when they get back home to um, Thailand. The follow-ups on the uh, first third of the court. There's a lot of points lying waiting for her there. I was called out. 18, out, yeah. 14. Yeah, it's out. Yeah, no no uh, protestations no here from nope. Kim. Good to see a little smile from uh, <laughs> umpire. John Harley shows that he's totally on top of the situation. is within sight here. Yeah, she needed that rally, uh, Kim Gohn. I can understand her frustration. I think there's a bit of tension as well with the two players because there's a final spot at stake and yeah. uh, I don't think it's become uh, the normal for any of these two players yet. To get to finals, yeah. No, it's still something that um, is really valuable and um, you feel you have the chance. Of course, tension uh, creeps in. And the last final that Paul probably got to, of course, all England yeah. last year, losing to Nozomi Okuhara. Now, match point territory 20, for Chochu Wong. Match point 14. So an even longer wait for Kim Gawun since her last final. That was a US Open in 2019, which she lost. Oh, good deception. <laughs> and Paul Poe yeah. has done it. <laughs> A big yell from her as she makes her first final in just over a year since the All England in 2021. And she's played well today. Yeah, and it's another strong comeback after losing the first game. 21-14. Well, she worked hard, Kim Gaon. She played very well in that first game. And then lost away in the second and third. And there's a reaction from Popo Wichochua. It won't be the all-Korean final of these fans have come to hope for. Well, it will be a great match indeed. And so Young will be playing Popoi Chochu Wong. With Popoi winning against Kim Kaun 
17-21, 21-14, 21-14 in 73 minutes. Welcome back to the Palmer Stadium, the Korea Open 2022, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour. This is a Super 500 tournament, evidenced by the next match in the men's singles. It's a massive one here. The third seeded Indonesian, Jonathan Christie, and it's up against India's fifth seed, Kidambi Srikant. Steve, this one is a lip smacking tie, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a rematch of the uh, semi-final in the Swiss Open uh, two weeks ago where Jonathan Christie won and uh, I could imagine that 